Good morning everyone. It's Julie at Crafts Cute and welcome back to my channel. Yes, I got a little frog in my throat. Yes, my husband's creepy crud jumped on me and I'm hoping, I guess it started last Thursday and I'm hoping that by the end of this week it would be gone. I'm going to try and carefully talk so I don't cause an eruption of cough, a coughing fit. But if that happens, I will pause and then come back. But I wanted to just jump in and show you what I've been doing. Um, in the previous video I loaded was that I decided I'm going to decorate it. And this is going to be my daughter Erica's uh, journal. And so I'm hoping that you guys decided to try and do a flip book. Because this is primarily a flip book. But mine is just an Asian theme. Oriental theme flip book. And I showed you how to make these. Um, so you had to put this this part of the flipbook panel in because this is a Constantina type flip book. I guess that you would call that. And this here I have lined the inside of it. And this signature will go in here just like this. And it'll get sewn and once it's sewn I'm gonna instead of having the strings in the middle I'm gonna sew it so that the strings are dangling out this way and so um, and then dangle some cool little ornamental thingies on it but I wanted to um, share if I had when you make your your panels if you want to leave a border around it, then you just come in from the size for the width and length. You just take off whatever that length is, one eighth of an inch from the top and one eighth, um, one eighth of an inch on the side. Okay, not all the way around because then you'll your panel won't fit. But all you do is. This is a three and seven eighths width with an eight inch. I think this one's eight and a half and this is eight inch if I'm correct. Yes. So this is eight and a half inches long. This right here. So you want to take one eighth of an inch off of that, the top part. Okay, and then one in, one eighth of an inch on this one side. And that way you'll have a nice little border. Okay, and even with these, because these panels, each of these are same width, three and seven eighths of an inch. And this is now, this length is eight inches. So the signature that I make is going to be eight inches tall. Okay, that's if you want to make a panel. Now I took out my punch thingy that I've had sitting around so I thought I'm going to use it because it almost looks sort of an Asian you know element um, if you could see on this top one here I added I just what I did was I cut out little gussets and I put that in here and on either end and then I glued it down, okay, taped this, these two sides down. I had a uh, sequin or double-sided tape on it. And then I just put glue here to make a, a pocket. And in these um, our little cards here. Oh, and I found these in the, oh, if I can pull that out in the digital collage club that I belong to and I 
pay a subscription of like 10 something a month and um, you get a, all kinds of digitals um, it'll have. I mean, my goodness, for every holiday occasion, anniversary, birthdays, they have lots of digitals that are in there that are available for you to download. Okay. So $10 is just so worth it. And I don't know why I didn't go looking there. I guess I just forgot that I had it. Um, but I'm going to be utilizing it more and more per project that I'm going to make. Um, so these just slip right in here. Uh, I'm probably not going to. I was thinking about adding a little tab off these on the top here so they can be easily removed. But let me see if that's going to be possible. So this comes here and here. So yeah, I might have a... The tabs will stick out, you know. Because this is the cover that goes on top. Now, if I add tabs to those little cards, it'll stick out, you know, just a little bit over here. But that might be okay if I choose something really cool and Asian or, you know, Oriental. Um, like I did and said in my previous videos, I don't know which one it is right now, um, that may be a lantern. So maybe a lantern half of a lantern that is sticking out might be a cool feature. Yeah. Or, you know, I'll cross that bridge when I come to it. But this is, I just wanted to show you an idea, give you an idea of what you can do. Now, I mentioned in the previous video also that while this to me is an Asian theme, this can be a beautiful French door window you know those beautiful French doors so this could be a window you can put acetate in there and then once you play it lay it down on a background you know the background behind it you know could shine through show through the acetate so just make it into a French door you can even change these side panels right here into like something woodsy looking like a have something that is like a wood grain on it you know the sky's the limit on designing it and decorating it and take your time um i'm certainly taking my time on this i know i need to set this aside and finish up little projects just in case i do make it to kentucky if all goes well, if this creepy crud leaves, then I'm headed there. But I gotta finish up those projects. Uh, <clears throat> so, I right now, this is the first panel. Okay, I got that decorated. And I'm working on the signature right now. And then, when this is, this has the three ring, the two ring binders up here. So when I'm flipping it, okay. And I'm flipping this out and flipping this out and things like that. And then I flip that. I'm thinking about putting a, hang on, coughing fit. Mm. Came back. I just rubbed some hand sanitizer. Hold on. Okay, well. Huh. Yeah. I'm probably not going to make any more videos until this thing clears up. But I did want to show you. Just jump in and just say, hey, you know, um, I am just in my room sometimes. I'm sleeping a lot longer because it's taking like that Theraflu and just catching up. Because to me, it doesn't work. But then it's an expectorant, right? It makes you cough. That's the whole point, getting all the phlegm out of your but it's um, caused my ribs to hurt and stuff like that. And my voice is horsey. I don't feel feverish. I just, this nagging, hacking cough. And I called the doctor's office this morning to see if he can call in 
an antibiotic and something for this coughing because because I'm not sleeping at night um, and then I just all morning long I'm not sleeping so by the time I do finally fall asleep comfortably I'm not waking up until like 5 36 o'clock in the evening and so yeah that's why I'm up early right now is because I slept late but um, I thought if I can get through this I want I'm choosing my papers right now and I wanted to show you that I was looking through let's see if I could pause not pause but zoom in these are papers that I've had in my stash from it's a digital kit that I purchased from Victoria Designs and I wanted something for this signature that I have here right here I'm just collecting bits and pieces of paper um, this oriental paper and then I'm just trying to build this signature I don't want it too thick because when she starts adding things to it but I do want to add lots of space that allows for journaling because I know my daughter she she does journal um, I mean I don't know how long it's been since she's journaled but I know that I raised the girls to journal and stuff so um, I was going through this because I wanted something because Okinawa is a, an island and it's surrounded by water oh look at this and this one has lines in it let me pull that out you know, just let me do a flip through of it I was thinking this but then this has New Zealand on it so I'm gonna pass that one up and then here's one that doesn't really say a whole lot I might insert that into this journal so I'll fold it and then I'll cut it off um, to fit this yeah I think that's what I'm gonna do that and you know so there's some sort of ocean thing now here's another one that I don't know if she'd be into the anchor stuff and yeah and then here's one that is just plain I may put that in here you know because it matches the colors see how well it goes I'm choosing things that is that would look aesthetically really good in here um, yeah so I'm probably gonna do this one I'll probably add this one look how pretty that is right it's already lined where she could do some writing let me zoom you back out and then here's one that's pretty cool like a ledger style oh look at that one this one's a little bit lighter and brighter so I may use this one and look at the colors look at those colors look at that that's pretty so this is a yes definitely so Victoria Designs, if you don't know her, um, her kits can be um, ex extremely expensive, but my goodness, sometimes she gives like 50% and 75% off, so yeah, it's worth it. I paid like $9 for a kit, and her kit comes with, I don't know, like 80 pages of stuff, you know, so it's worth it if you want to go check out her her shop, her Etsy, uh, um, subscribe to her mailing list, uh, Victoria, Victoria um, this is her ocean theme, I, I don't remember what the kit is called, <coughs> but yeah, um, I don't want this video to be too long I'm just going to show you and then I'm going to sew this signature in 
this is this might be a cool one. Hmm. That one's pretty cool because it's nice and bright and it's the White House. I don't like this man figure in there. <coughs> I'm just checking out the aesthetic of the so see that might be good because of the greens in here. So aesthetically that might be a cool one. Uh, yeah, no. I think I like ooh, see this is so pretty, right? That is real pretty, isn't it? Oh, and look at this one. Oh, oh my gosh. Look at that, right? That's beautiful, right? Okay. So, oh, and then that beautiful green. But I'm going to try and not use all of these all at once. I'm going to have them, I have five panels to fill. So, I got to save some others. spread these things throughout the the five I think that's pretty isn't it that'd be cool okay. all right that's pretty cool okay so set these aside which ones which one which one do I want in this because it's got lots of blue in it. What do I do with that one? Hang on, where's that one pretty one? Is this it? Oh, sorry for the shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Okay, there's two of them. Ah, here we go. Yeah, so this is a project that I'm probably going to continue doing when I get back from Kentucky. Yeah, that's real pretty. I'm inserting that one in there. This one's going in there. Look how gorgeous that is. All right. Okay. So, oh, let me hurry up and try and get this. So what I do is, since I want a lot of this beautiful feature. I am going to, let's see, uh, this will help me get it. I'm going to do, wait a minute, uh, I'm going to do three and five eighths. Yeah. Three and five eighths. I'm gonna score that. Wherever my score tool is, uh, I cleared out the left of that part of this um, desk or my table, so I can easily get to my sewing machine now. Three and five eighths. I'm gonna start that. Oh, this paper. So then you gotta be careful not to let it crack. So there is that. Okay. And then let's see if my pencil will serve as a bone. Yep, did. So I'll just cut that off. And I know that the inside is white. I should have probably well, I found this in my stash. I could have just ran it through the printer and just copied the other side. Okay, but a little distress ink will remedy that, you know, so, okay, cut that off. And I'll show you what I'm going to do with this extra piece. 
Waste not, want not, right? Okay. So, this will get inserted now. Uh, this one's going to be in the middle. I'll probably insert that here. Okay, and what I've been doing is making sure I push that in. Get that all even, Stephen. I'm just coming up here and just slicing it off. Okay. So there's that insert. And then what I want to do with this little piece is... Okay, this is this is South America. I'm gonna fold this up and I'm gonna put that no 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 I don't want that covered. I want her when she opens that first page, let's see. Okay, I'll insert that into something else. Okay. So, what else? So, this is the, okay, starting with center drill, but I took my whole 8.5 by 11 and I used the whole sheet. So, this flips out for lots of writing space. Okay, so that's the back of the page. Um, and then, you know, I folded it. What I did was, I took my eight and a half by 11 and I tucked it in there okay and can folded this over because it's going to be a pocket and then folded up my sheets okay folded it so all of it fit together and then this was loose so what I did was flip this piece and glue put glue down so now this is glued on to see so it makes the signature cover a little bit more stable okay and then so this is one full sheet eight and a half by eleven and then I folded it up glued it and then whatever was left over about a half an inch I just cut it right off and so this I put in um, that represents Erica and Jessica two sisters walking together you know and just chatting away. Okay, so there's that paper. So I'll use that somehow. Okay, and then I'm going to move this out of the way. Okay, and then I want to put this in there. real thin but that's the beauty of just putting papers in right if this goes in the center once that's open but even though that's nice it's not what I want in there let's see what else do I have <laughs> Hmm. I know, I might like that. Because it's got the orange. I'm okay with that. Okay, so. I brought out some tea stain paper. Uh, so pretty much this is an eclectic of things that I'm going to a eclectic mishmash mish 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 what is it mishmash pish posh 
I don't know, of collections of paper. There's going to be Victoria Designs, Digital Collage Club, and um, Tracy at Tracy Fox Creations. Her papers because these okay this is not her kit but I want to show you where is it this right here this is Tracy Fox I thought I was just going to use Tracy Fox but when I ordered her kit I thought there would be more and there's really not a whole lot in it so I went and searched in the digital collage club and I found this so let me see I know I want to add a few more papers for like writing paper and I was thinking about injecting this tea stain paper um, because it kind of matches this grain and then let me see that's something I want in here mm. No. Okay. I made this. This is I've been trying to find this one. This is a just a collage of stamps that I did, but I don't know if I'm gonna add that in there. I'm thinking I'm trying to save that for a huge project panel. Ah, here we go. Here's the tea stain paper. Get this out of the way. Okay. <coughs> Hold on. One time. Check out the designs on that tea stain paper. Here, zooming better. Just slight floral images. So I think I'm going to add this paper in here. I'm going to go for the lighter one. Oh, look at, check out that image. Oh my. To me, my lighting is so dark. Let me check something. Is that better? That might be better. See that? Yeah, that's pretty cool. I think I'm going to add this one. These are tea stain papers that I did, like, oh my gosh, almost three years ago. Okay, so. What I want to do with this... Oh, 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 these are my little, that I use that punch to make those little screen, a screen here, yeah, okay, so I'm going to remove this right now, so I want, actually, I gotta keep these in there because I'm trying to keep them. Come on. Okay. This is this. I'm gonna go to the center. Go to the center. And I wanna keep most of. I want to keep as much of this paper in here. So. If I am, here's what I'm thinking. I'm going to fold that right about there. So, let me start it this way. You'll see what I'm getting to. You will see. I'm trying not to strain my voice to get into a coughing fit. Okay, so there's my pencil mark. 
I'm gonna go like this. Okay. And then put this in here. Come on. Because I want to use all of it. somehow for this design to be featured when you, she opens that. Hmm. Hmm. What am I doing wrong? Okay, let's just get this folding done. Let's just have at it, right? You're telling me, let's just get to it. Get to it, get to it, Julie. Just get to it to it. Okay. Move this out a sec. So now that I got This is going to have to go like this. And this one in this way. Oh, figured it out. There we go, guys. That's how I don't want to waste any of this beautiful tea stained paper. I don't even remember what I used. I think it was like a plastic table mat. What's going on with that? Why is that a little wonky now? What's the hold up? Yeah, I guess it's the way it's cut. So I'm going to trim that off because it's not... It's bugging me. I keep wanting to straighten the paper out and it's... Because it was cut wrong. Okay, so let's put that back in. And I'm just going to remove this. Okay. So that's how I'm putting my papers together. So this will flip open. I have that in that paper blank. I may stencil it. I don't know yet. And there's that with those women, and there's that, and then she can open it up and write something. Now, here's another thing that I want to... Oh, it's getting pretty thick, even though there's not a whole lot of paper in there. When you start adding stuff into this thing, it is going to be thick now. Same concept. Uh, 
Okay. I'm going to pause and cut this out. I'll be right back. Okay. Now, I'm going to get into this signature. I'm going to mark where I'm going to fold. Small pencil line. Right there. I'm going to come in. Erase that. <sighs> this is my miracle daughter. I'm going to come in right there. This one was <coughs> excuse me guys, hold on. Okay, whew, boy. Yeah, I'm gonna be getting out of this craft room real soon. I'm gonna I just wanna show you how I'm sewing it in. I'm gonna sew that signature in. So this will go in here. So that when she opens up, she's in the center of this. <coughs> okay, I'm back. I did the trimming. And so, this is her picture in the center of the signature. So she can write affirmations, like putting like little cutouts of um, things and just put affirmations around her. But, yeah. That's her signature. This is her. Yeah, isn't she just gorgeous? Oh, God has healed her eyesight. She doesn't even look like she's had a horrible mark put on her body, on her face. Yeah. She was brutally beaten. Okay. So let's get this sewn in. This is going to be the first panel. Portrait of a beautiful oriental woman. Okay. It's going to be her signature here. So I'll be right back. I'm going to go and grab some stuff to sew this in. I'll be right back. Okay. I got it all sorted out. Found the jute twine that I going to use. It's the red. I was debating because I have all these colors here. I'll probably use these throughout the the make of this. I was going to do a blue, uh, but I think I'm going to start off with the red. Um, so what I did was when you determine the, the length of the string to the journal, I went one three times, three lengths, I guess, like this, and then just a tad bit more. And then, for me, okay, I'm going to put this in, line it up, line this up like this, and then I take my little skinny little ruler, find that center, and then just try and push the paper really tight in the center. Okay, making sure that everything looks good, like that. It's hanging down just a tad bit, but that's okay. It's the beauty of the junk journal. It's perfectly imperfect, right? So then what I do is I'm going to open this up. Let me get this flap out of the way, like so. I'll hold it in place with a clip like that and then I'm going to take my pokey tool okay where's the pokey tool 
All right, I just, oh, there it is. Pokey tool. Oops. Let's get that back in place. And then I'm just gonna pretty much eyeball the center. Well, if I wanted to be perfect, take my ruler, because it's eight inches in length, right? And I'm gonna go four inches into the center. Okay, oops, I moved it. Four inches, I'm gonna hold that right there, move this out of the way. Bring this up just so I know I get through that spine. Okay. My little sponge. And just pierce that right through. And there we go. It's right there in that spine. See that? Right there. It's right in, in the center of that spine. So that's the center. So now I'm going to just kind of push this all the way through to widen that hole a little bit. Because this has got to get through it. See this right here? That thickness right there of that needle has to go through. Okay, so I'm pushing my little pokey tool. Make sure the hole is just a tad bit wider. Okay, now coming back out. I'm going to now come in about one inch. One inch from this edge right there. Go in one inch. Hold that in place. Pick up my journal. And pierce that through. And there it is. Right in the center of that. And so I'm just going to push that through. Kind of wiggle it, wiggle it, wiggle it. Get that hole going. Okay. And then I'm going to come back in here. Do the same. One inch. Hold that down in place. Bring my thing up. And poke that hole. And then pierce this all the way through. Kind of wiggle it. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Whew. Okay, now. Since I want the string on the outside, I'm going from the outside in. I want my strings dangling. So now, where is, that? where is it at? Is it behind this piece of paper? Alright, where to go? Poke yourself now, Julie. Uh, so I'm bringing it in. Uh, with the help of pliers. Wherever they are. Okay. Come on. You can do it. Okay. Whoop. Now. might have been a bit too much anyway so I want dangle see how far do I want it to dangle probably to about like right there okay so then I will come back here and then go through 
this hole right there and I'm holding this right here in place push that through tail if I can. My left hand's the weakest. Okay, so I'm pulling that like that. And you're probably asking me, where is your daughter's picture? Well, I'm going to attach her a different way because I don't want any type of string in her face, encumbering her face. So, Push that through like so, and then, ugh. Here we go. Pull it all the way through. Grab my, and tighten everything up as best I can. tail is still here. Now I'm just going to push this through the back through the center. Come on. Get through there. Trying to bring that this over there. <sighs> All right. And voila! Inside signature pulled taut. Pull that as taut as can I can, and then uh, making sure both are taut in there, and then is the scissor in front of my face, people, my peeps, it probably is right. Okay. Slice that off. Put this back over here so I don't lose my needle on the magnet. Okay. And so I'm going to tie this up now. Notice that the strings on either side of this long one right here in the center. Because that's going to hold that down. So I'm going to tie the knot. And one more for good measure. So double knotted. Okay, and there we go. This gets flat. Put back in, and there's the signature, you guys. So you see right here, there's just a bit of bit of a trim there. I'm not going to be too. I might because my OCD self. I may take my razor blade, just flip this open like this, like this, and take my razor blade. And trim that off. Yep, that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so let's check this thing out. Okay, so that's what this panel looks like, you guys. And on this side right here, on this side, it's gonna have some dingly dangly things. Look how pretty that is. So here, make a flip book of these panels because you can take, when you're going to work on a journal, like if she wants to take this to work on this journal, take it out of the three-ring binder, throw it in her purse, take it with her if she's going to sit in the cafe and journal, you know, 
Yeah, that's what they're for, to remove from those little three-ring binder things. Or she can take the whole thing with her, and it's removable. And then so here's the beautiful flip through. Here's this right here. So if you're going to open this up, there's that beautiful panel where you can stick photographs. Write something here. And then you open up the journal. She takes her little ephemera pieces. Okay, she can take one. In fact, when she opens this up like this, she can, you know, write something in the back and take a little bit of washi tape and tape it right there. Yeah. So this will be loaded with some of the little ephemera pieces and um, in here for her to use. So here's that little flip through of this journal. She can do stuff on this side. This is what you call a naked journal. She can write whatever she wants. I may glue that down for a pocket. Then again, I don't know. I might put a decorative Japanese writing strip over here. So she can just flip it open and she can write something on it. And then here are her two sisters. That's her and Jessica. This is Erica and that's Jessica. And there's the beautiful page. I might do some stenciling, distressing on that. Here's this one. And here's that beautiful tea stain paper. Gosh, I wish you guys could see that. It is so beautiful. The petals on here. The beautiful petals. And here's that with the the water tea stain, place for her to journal. There's her and her sister jabbing away again. Yeah, I'll probably do something there. Um, and then here's that beautiful flower. Man, I wish you guys could see this. There you go. Pretty, huh? Okay. And then this flips out. Okay. That's the center. And then here's uh, me just minding my own business. The girls are jabbing away and there's me sitting by myself. Well, I'm not by myself, but I'm in my own thoughts. Pretty hot. And then that flips out. Beautiful tea stain paper. There's the other side of that. The other side of that. And this flips out. And then there's that other side of the panel to do something, decorate it. Okay. Well, I hope you guys like this. It's a long one. I was moving slowly not to exert my energy to put me into a coughing frenzy. And I want to thank you guys. Thank God for hand sanitizer, right? I've got to buy some more. I've only got very little. Thank God for hand sanitizer. Anyway, okay, you guys. Thank you guys for um, just watching. If this some part's a little boring, you know, just fast forward. But I think, um, I don't know. I'm just glad you guys came in and hung out with me, even though I didn't do a whole lot of talking because you know why. All right, there's that beautiful panel. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Right, you guys? What do you think? Give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you think. See? You can fold that open like that. Work in the journal. Completely flip it out. Yeah. So I think it's absolutely 100% a gorgeous. See? How beautiful, right? Okay, guys. Thank you. Bye.